cool me right now. He was just on the swing. Now he's playing with the yarn. Canada, right here, we have Maine and there's Nova Scotia. And this area of low pressure is throwing some clouds back no. away, but it's helping to keep high pressure in here, and it's also keeping the storm in the store south. Well, he's in desperate. Time, as that load moves away, we can't eat yarn. Will come our way, but not the bulk of it. If you look at this feature cast, you see how you have opposing forces at work here, and we're sort of in the middle. And the worst case is a couple of cloud patches break off from the main batch up here in northern New England and come our way. And I do think we'll have a period of that, and it may be just tomorrow morning where a few hours are actually mostly cloudy, and then overall it turns partly sunny during the day. But not as much sunshine as recent days, and that may keep temperatures around the 70 degree mark, or in spots even in the upper 60s tomorrow. More of the same on Friday, just some patchy cloudiness, especially along the coast. Otherwise, you're looking at partly sunny skies. Well, that low over the southeast, there's more and more evidence that the bulk of it is going to stay offshore. And we still think there will be an ocean storm. And whether it comes a little closer to New England or just stays well offshore, we'll determine that. But a, a direct impact on the tri-state area seems unlikely. Large swell certainly.